Hey there, final boss fam. Remember when Dirt Rally 2.0 had us all glued to our screens? Well, fasten your seatbelts, because Codemasters, now powered by EA, is about to take us on another wild ride with EA Sports WRC. Thanks to EA's firepower, Codemasters has finally obtained the WRC license. This new EA Sports WRC promises us rich content, ultra-realistic gameplay and breathtaking graphics. So, if you're as excited as I am to dive deep into what this game has to offer, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's journey into this new EA Sports WRC together. And hey, drop a comment below with your expectations or if there's anything specific you'd like us to cover. We're in this rally ride together after all. EA has announced an impressive roster of over 200 stages across 17 diverse locations for its new rally license, EA Sports WRC. More than the number itself, it's the effort put in by Codemasters that's impressive. For the first time, the 200 stages will be ultra-faithful replicas of real roads. I know I can't wait to take on the special stages on the Col du Torini at speeds of up to 200 km per H, or any of the roads in the Finnish snow. The vehicles are equally impressive, with a selection of 80 cars that you can use to navigate both asphalt and muddy terrains. Ranging from Sebastian Loeb's Citroën C4 to the legendary Colin McRae's Subaru Impreza WRX STI, and renowned Group B cars such as the Audi Quattro. Modern cars, including the official 2023 RC1 and RC2 models like the Hyundai i20 Hybrid and Volkswagen Polo GTI, will also be available. With such a wide range of cars, it's a safe bet that the gameplay will cater to the preferences of all players. Compared to previous Codemasters titles, a number of improvements have been made, particularly in terms of grip on tarmac, force feedback, aerodynamics, engine inertia and progressive braking. Codemasters relies on a brand new dynamic handling system and feedback from professional drivers to deliver the most realistic handling in EA Sports, WRC. Leveraging their extensive experience in F1 and rally simulations, the British developers promise us authentic driving sensations. Codemasters has made every effort to ensure that its simulation caters to novices and experts alike. You'll have the flexibility to fine-tune the assistance settings according to your preferences, and you can also select between two distinct note systems. EA Sports Wasi faithfully recreates the intricate scoring system used by professional drivers in the game, but to avoid losing the Sunday driver in you, you will have the option of using a simplified note system. Ego, Codemasters in-house engine used since Colin McRae Dirt, is retiring with the new EA Sports WRC. Officially, the reason for the engine change is technical. Codemasters aims to introduce special stages of up to 30 kilometers in length, a significant increase compared to the previous engine's limit of 13 kilometers in Dirt Rally 2.0. It's also likely that the motivation behind the move is a cost-cutting aspect for EA, as it's much easier to find development teams used to work on the Unreal Engine than on Codemasters' in-house engine. While there's no official confirmation regarding the version of the Unreal Engine that powers EA Sports WRC, the absence of any announcements suggests that it's likely running on Unreal Engine 4. If Unreal Engine 5 had been utilised, it's reasonable to assume that EA's marketing team would have prominently featured UE5 logos, although this is purely speculative on my part. When it comes to graphics, the gameplay video that's been released showcases some impressive visuals. The cars appear to be perfectly modelled, with detailed interiors. While Dirt Rally 2.0 was already a strong game overall, the environments in EA Sports WRC, powered by the Unreal Engine, appear to have truly embraced the next-gen gaming. The level of detail in the road surfaces and immediate surroundings is striking, though there may be some slight blurriness on certain textures. For the first time in Codemasters Rally Simulation History Series, players will now be able to participate in rallies across all four seasons. Spring, Summer, Autumn and Winter. This expansion brings a dynamic element to the game, as Codemasters assures that each vehicle's performance will be influenced by the diverse terrain and weather conditions it encounters. With this update, there's optimism that the previous floating sensation of vehicles on the asphalt, a concern in earlier Codemasters releases, will be resolved thanks to the introduction of a new physics engine. 
Furthermore, the attention to detail extends to environmental aspects such as rain, which is impressively depicted on both the car's bodywork and the road surface, providing an authentic and engaging experience. I guess we'll have to assess once more after we've had a chance to finish the game. In any good car simulation, you have to have some immersive sound that really does the job. Since we can't catch a whiff of that petrol in a simulator, it's all about hearing those mechanics at work and the tyres screeching around the corners. Codemasters, knowing the enthusiasts we are, didn't skimp on this one. They've gone ahead and meticulously captured all sounds you'd expect from real rally cars. The bumps, the scraping of the floor, those gear shifts, and of course the sweet engine roars, all recorded with top-notch quality. What's more, as you're tearing up the tracks, you'll have your co-driver and engineer chiming in, adding that extra layer of atmosphere and realism to the whole experience. EA Sports WRC offers a plethora of engaging modes. Let's take a closer look at what's in store. Career mode, which lets you choose to start in the category of your choice, is the cornerstone of the player's personal rally story. From creating your team and its unique identity to strategically planning your rise through the WORC ranks, this mode is a complete simulation of the life of a rally driver. The inclusion of a benefactor adds an intriguing strategic layer as pleasing the benefactor is crucial to securing the funds needed to progress the team. Moments mode, meanwhile, takes players on a nostalgic journey through the annals of rallying history, introducing them to scenarios that have shaped the sport as we know it today. It's not just about experiencing these iconic moments, it's about redefining them. Every challenge met, every medal won, is a tribute to the legends of the past, etching the player's name alongside them. The Regularity Rally introduces a discipline that demands a mixture of precision and restraint, a stark contrast to conventional speed rallies. It's a test of pace and control, where the aim is to maintain a set average speed over different stages. This mode not only diversifies the gameplay, but also hones a different set of driving skills, underlining the multifaceted nature of rally racing. What's more, the game extends its educational element with the Rally School, which teaches the nuances of rally driving. This is a fundamental step for newcomers, levelling the playing field and improving the overall competitiveness of the community. Championship mode immerses players in the most intense WRC seasons, offering a direct dive into the heart of the competition, while quick play options cater for those looking for instant gratification, whether solo or with friends. Clubs, meanwhile, focus on the community aspect, providing tools to orchestrate events and championships, fostering camaraderie and friendly rivalry within the global player base. We indeed find the classic time trial, which presents itself as the ultimate test of speed and skill, a mode where players can chase perfection down to the millisecond, making it an attractive playground for highly competitive players and those aiming for esport glory. Finally, EA Sports WRC introduce a builder mode, which seems to be a groundbreaking feature that allows players to engineer their rally cars from scratch. This isn't just superficial customization, it's an in-depth dive into automotive craftsmanship. Players start by selecting foundational elements like chassis and engine position, fine-tuning every functional aspect from suspension systems to gearbox configurations to match their driving style. But builder mode isn't solely about what's under the hood. Players can shape their vehicle's visual identity, customising body panels, crafting liveries, placing sponsor decals and personalising driver suits. Every detail, functional or aesthetic, can be adjusted, allowing players to infuse their personality into their cars. For those of you wondering about the tech side of things, here's what you'll need to get the most out of EA Sports WRC, a CPU of either AMD Ryzen 7 3700X or Intel i5 10600K, a solid 16 GB of RAM. And for the graphics, NVIDIA RTX 2070 or Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU. Now for PC players out there, get ready for a treat. EA Sports WRC is levelling up the experience with VR and triple screen support. As for PS5, a little heads up, there's currently no PSVR 2 support planned. But hey, the game still promises an amazing experience across all platforms. EA Sports WRC is hitting the Xbox Series X Vertical Bar S, 
PlayStation registered trademark 5, and PC on the 3rd of November. Now, for our Nintendo Switch enthusiasts, there's been no official announcement just yet. But our guess? You might see it roll out sometime in early 2024. With jaw-dropping graphics powered by Unreal Engine, tailored gameplay for both newbies and pros, and Codemasters pulling out all the stops, this might just set a new gold standard for rally simulations. We're revving up with excitement and can't wait to dive in. Till then, keep racing, final boss fam.